Are you having fun in your business? I mean, it should be fun, right? Well, sometimes the fun gets overlooked when you're dealing with the have-tos, the complexities of being your own boss and actually running the show. It's my goal that this, the Fun Business Fun Money Podcast, can help reignite your spark of fun by providing tips, tools, insights, and inspiration so you can enjoy running your business in the simplest, easiest, most fun way possible. I'll be sharing practical tips and ideas that you can implement immediately, along with business and money mindset insights to keep you moving forward no matter what's going on around you. I'm your host, Deirdre Amies, the fun business and money coach and founder of Powered by Personality. Let's play. Hey there, and welcome to the Fun Business Fun Money podcast. I'm your host, Deirdre Amies. And also, welcome to 2024. This episode goes live on Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024 in my part of the world. For some of you, it'll still be New Year's Day. So happy new year to everyone all around the world. I'm a morning person who doesn't drink alcohol anymore. It's coming up eight years now. So New Year's Eve is very different to what it was back in my 20s. That was party time back then. In fact, I haven't partied like it's 1999, like the Prince song, since it was 1999. (laughs) And that just means there's no late nights or hangovers around here for me. That's also why I'm going to try and keep this one fairly concise. You've got things to do. You might be shaking off and recovering from celebrations. and Maybe you don't really care about anything to do with 2024 yet. It's still summer holidays here in Australia, and I'm still in relax mode for at least another week. At least that's what I'm telling myself. It's pouring with rain today. Hopefully that's not coming through in the background either. We have had some wicked summer storms. I always laugh about this chill out and relax time because I know the moment that I do, all the fresh ideas come flowing through and I'm just itching to get on with them. Relax time quickly blends into super productive time. So I was thinking about this idea of a fresh new year, a fresh start, and all the resolutions and the commitments that we make about what we want to achieve in the the year ahead. And as we all know, most of those end up falling by the wayside. They end up in the bin. They're forgotten in a corner with the dust bunnies. We get to the end of a year, and maybe it didn't pan out how you imagined. It becomes easy to shrug and just say, eh, I'll start again in 2024. Well, here we are. It's 2024. So how about we make this the year that you stake a claim, you draw a line in the sand and take action to create something fresh and new. Do something different. I'm always down for that. Now, I'm not a big fan of podcasts that simply repost old episodes as if they're fresh and new, no matter how good they are. That's not how I want to roll around here. But I do have a couple of previous episodes I want to highlight today because they're so good. Hashtag just saying. This week, take some time to check in with these goal-related episodes so that you do feel inspired and ready for action in 2024. Even if it's later in the year or it's long past 2024 when you're listening to this, it's never too late to set a goal, to set an intention and take action. You can do that right now. So here's my top four recommendations to go back and have a listen to. The first one is episode 95. And it was about if you want more time and energy, you need to drop the responsibility. This one was quite personal for me. Uh, There was a revelation that I had while listening to another podcast. And it literally hit me like a bolt of lightning that I am responsible for everyone and everything. And I think this is particularly important for those of us who are nurturer money archetypes 
or we have nurture quite high in our list of scores. It's about, I think it's fourth for me. Nurturers are always putting others' needs and wants before our own. We sacrifice ourselves and prioritize everyone else. And that's something that needs to stop if we're going to avoid burning out and fading away. We don't want to be resenting serving others because we've sacrificed our own needs and wants. That doesn't mean that you stop caring about others and only think about yourself. We're not talking about selfish or self absorbed behavior here. I'm simply meaning you need to give more recognition to where your time and energy is going. There needs to be a balance between serving or caring for others and serving or caring for yourself. So if this is you, I give you permission to find more balance in 2024. You can drop the responsibility. Not that you need actual permission. You don't need anyone to give you permission. But sometimes you do need someone to say it out loud anyway. So if the one thing you do is step into 2024 feeling fresh and empowered, it's going to be an amazing year. My second recommendation is episode 97, how to choose and use your word of the year. I know not everyone likes a word of the year, just like not everyone likes a vision board. But I also believe that's because they're not using it to their full potential. So in this episode 97, I outlined the how and the why of choosing your word of the year. My word for 2023 was freedom. And that's something I definitely feel that I've created in almost every area of my life and business. My word for 2024 is receive. I'm open to receiving more good vibes, connecting with more great people, and enjoying more awesome coffee, along with more money, more clients, more energy, and more freedom. Open to receive. There's a whole lot more to your word of the year than just picking something out of thin air and declaring, this is my word. That is a very surface level approach. You might as well just slap something up on Facebook, get a round of applause from everybody and be done with it. I have a far more strategic approach to it. And I covered that in my word of the year advanced strategy mini course. It's a workbook plus a series of videos walking you through the process to choose your word and develop a strategy applying it to three key areas, business, money, and lifestyle. You'll find the link to check out the Word of the Year Advanced Strategy mini course in the description and in the show notes. Recommendation number three is episode 99, set powerful intentions for your best year yet. This is similar in a way to setting goals or choosing a word of the year, but setting intentions is a great way to review the year that's been and decide what you're not taking with you into 2024. We follow the 80-20 rule on this one, Pareto's Law which says 80% of your results come from 20% of your clients or 20% of your effort, or both. I walk you through the whole process in that episode. Plus, there's a free worksheet that you can download to really see where your time, energy, and attention is best focused in 2024. Intentionally aligning your actions with your goals and the outcomes that you want That will never steer you wrong. And my final recommendation, number four, episode 101, crush your goals and create powerful results in 2024. This one is about setting relevant goals based on the experience that you want to have. If you're aiming to do something that you've perhaps done before, it's not always inspiring. You already know how to do it. And if you're a been there, done that kind of a person like me, after a while, it becomes a bit eh. Then there are things that you've not done before, but you're pretty sure you know how to get there anyway, because someone else may have already done it and you can simply follow their path, which is a great goal. And it's certainly a lot easier ride than trying to figure everything out on your own. 
but you still need to do a sense check every step of the way to make sure what you're doing feels right for you. Because that system or that path that you're following may have been mapped out by someone who is a completely different archetype or personality to you. And maybe they have a different human design to you. It works great for them and anyone else who's the same or similar to them, but it may be completely wrong for you or just not ideal. The next level up from that is if you know you're meant for something big in 2024, you've got a ton of ideas but you don't quite know how it all comes together yet, that is an excellent goal to set. And it's also an excellent goal to get some help with and some clarity around it, either from myself or someone like me. One of the biggest things my clients talk about is how easy I make it for them to implement and bring their ideas to life. Several of them are super creative, big thinkers with a ton of ideas, but they've got no structure or follow through. We take a look at all their expertise, all of it, and turn it into a clean, simple offer that's easy for them to execute and deliver. Their clients love it because they're not overwhelmed, so everybody wins. If that's something you want in 2024 as well, send me a DM and let's talk. I'm at Fun Business Fun Money, all one word, on both Facebook and Instagram. Or you can connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm Deirdre Amy's there. You can check out all the ways that you can work with me via the work with me link in the description and the show notes. That could be my Ignite Business and Money Coaching Program. It could be a VIP day looking at a specific area of your business. Or it could be a business alchemy day on Voxer where we map out all the things. So that's what I got for you today. Happy New Year and welcome to 2024. Set your sights on a fresh year, fresh goals, fresh energy, and let's make some business magic happen. Take care, have fun stepping into a new year, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for joining me. If you found this episode useful, make sure you hit that follow button on your chosen podcast platform so you get the notifications when each new episode goes live and you don't miss anything. If you know someone who would also get something from it, don't be shy, share it with them. One of the best things about being a business coach for online entrepreneurs is helping them make sense of their creative ideas and turn them into a simple, clear business system that actually makes money. A client recently described me as a castle building expert. You've got the big vision and some of the building materials already, but you don't quite know how to bring it all together into a solid foundation. Then I come along and I show you the blueprint that makes sense of it all. I love that analogy. And I'd love to show you your personalized blueprint, the one that's just right for you and your clients. But I can't do that until you join Ignite, my business and money coaching program. So head on over to deirdreamies.com forward slash Ignite for all the details. Fill out the application form and let's talk about building your castle in the simplest, easiest way possible. Music